Hello Grade 11s, today we introduce the idea of a cyclic quadrilateral, one theorem related to it, and then we apply the theorem to some examples. A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral whose vertices or corners lie on the circumference of a circle. Another way of putting this is a cyclic quadrilateral is a four-sided figure where all sides are chords. Quadrilateral ABCD is cyclic because all four vertices or corners lie on the edge or circumference of the circle. Quadrilateral LMRN is also cyclic. Note that we name a quad by going around the quadrilateral in either clockwise or anticlockwise direction. This quad could also be named RMLN, but never MNLR. This quadrilateral is not cyclic as vertex Q is not on the circumference of the circle. And neither is this one as vertex S is not on the circumference of the circle. We switch over to John to take us through the proof of the first theorem relating to cyclic quads. Before we start, let's say hello to our good friend Kanya who will be with us again today. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Kanye. In the mood for some geometry? Yes, I'm really having fun, and working with you has helped me a lot. I'm glad to hear that. Let's get started. In previous years, you have worked with quadrilaterals. Can you remember what those are? A closed four-sided shape that looks something like this. Very good. Now, if you put a quadrilateral inside a circle and it touches the circle at all four corners, then it is called a cyclic quadrilateral. So in this diagram, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic quadrilaterals have some special properties that we can prove. Here is the first theorem to do with cyclic quadrilaterals. The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. In other words, the opposite angles of a cyclic quad add up to 180 degrees. To prove this theorem, we'll need a diagram. A circle containing a cyclic quadrilateral. Let's label it ABPQ. So we need to prove that A plus P equals 180 degrees and B plus Q equals 180 degrees. If I give you a construction on this diagram, see if you can prove the theorem. Construct the lines joining the center of the circle to A and P. We'll label the angles at O as O1 and O2. The construction should have reminded you about the angle at the center being double the angle at the circumference. So O1 equals twice ABP, and O2 equals twice AQP. Did you notice that O1 and O2 add up to 360 degrees? But that means that twice ABP plus twice AQP also adds up to 360 degrees. The next step should be clear to you. Have both sides of the equation and you get ABP plus AQP equals 180 degrees. And this completes the proof. If we construct lines QO and OB in the circle instead of AO and PO, we could do exactly the same proof and show that QPB and QAB add up to 180 degrees. Instead of doing the proof again, with QPB and QAB, we are allowed to say similarly. Now that we have gone through the formal proof of one of the theorems, we need to apply this to a numerical question. We go back to John and Kanye. Now that we know the theorem about the opposite angles of a cyclic quad, let's look at the problem. It involves calculating the sizes of angles. I want you to calculate the size of 
A, B, and C. Have a good look at the diagram and at the information you have available to you. What do you know, Kanya? Can you tell us? We know the size of angle P is 34 degrees and POQ is the diameter of the circle. Well done. What about PQRS? PQRS is a cyclic quad that contains two triangles, PQS and QRS. Good. Let's start with angle A. What do we know about the angle at the center? It's double the size of the angle at the circumference. Yes. So angle A will be half the size of POQ. Now, POQ is a straight angle of 180 degrees. So A must be? 90 degrees. Correct. If A is 90 degrees, it's easy to find B, not so. Yes. The sum of the angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. That means A plus B plus 34 degrees equals 180 degrees. So B is 180 minus 90 minus 34. That gives 56 degrees. We also know opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. So if P is 34 degrees, then angle C and 34 add up to 180 degrees. So C would be? 180 minus 34. That makes C 146 degrees. I can do this. <laughs> Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You will also be able to learn more about circle geometry on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s.